today. Yes, today is the time that we finish up what we started with mystical agriculture. And I'm going to get this tower finished up, but this is going to lead us into the automation that is going to provide literally every item in the game for the most part. Like just about every resource we could ever want should be farmable with this mod, Mystical Agriculture. It's, it's pretty crazy. And the things that we can't automate with this, that we can't just have producing, well, the bees, the bees will provide that, right? Um, it's, it's, it's quite a crazy trip that we're going to take today. Um, and I, I still don't think I have enough storage in here, but we can always expand this storage up over here as well, if need be. But how am I going to do this? Well, I've already got the foundation set up for what is going to take place here, right? Uh, the goal is to have a bunch of the Ethereum growth accelerators. And so the best thing to do is to automate uh, all the resources that are required to make the accelerators, right? And then we're going to need a significant amount of these harvester pylons with all the modium hose. So at this point, I now have all the resources to make this perfect. Um, and then we're also going to need probably a, a good amount of these lily pads of fertility. And thankfully, that is very, very simple and we should have m tons of the resources for this as our mob farms have been running. So what is this gonna lead us to? Well, it's gonna lead us to all the resources needed to make tons of things such as uh, like the infinite storage disk and many things that are really, really late game in this pack. Um, and a, definitely an infinite storage disk would be fantastic because if we had that, then we would have no need for drawers. We could just throw everything in refined storage and just let it go that route. Uh, a whole lot less management. Is it more fun that way? Uh, that's debatable. But what are we going to be getting into first? Well, I think right now this has been our Inferium farm, right? This is the mainly just been Inferium. We have so much Inferium. Uh, we have 32,000 that has just been stored up. What we need to do is get this set up and hopefully get automation set up for turning Inferium Essence into Supremium and so on, all through its different tiers. Now to do this, I'm going to be taking our basic Infusion Crystals and I need to level the Infusion Crystals up to potentially make the highest tier Infusion Crystal, um, which is going to be this one that you see kind of glowing that we just seen right here, the Master Infusion Crystal. So I just need enough Supremium to be able to make this now, we've had prosperity going. This is one of the main deterrents. Uh, this is kind of what stopped me from jumping into this right away, right off the stop, was prosperity. But we have tons of prosperity now because of our prosperity bees uh, that have been running for a while now. Um, so that has been fantastic. And now that we have that, we're going to be very prosperous for, for sure with all of our resources. So getting into this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be converting all of this as much as I can. This crystal changes colors now and becomes dull over time. That's really cool. I'm going to go ahead and get all of this converted. Look at that. We barely, barely touched our setup here. Barely. Uh, and then this will be converted even further. I hope I have enough. Surely. Oh, yep. We definitely will have enough because this is going to get converted into Supremium. All right. So we have 28 Supremium for right now. And that should be plenty for getting at least one of the Master Infusion Crystals. Because once one is made, then we just use Refined Storage. But uh, I want to see if Refined Storage is capable of automating with the Infusion Crystal. I think we'll need like three Infusion Crystals. Because uh, I think they all have their own like unique ID. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I know, I know that uh, Applied Energistics can successfully automate this process within its auto crafting setup. But I don't know if refined storage will have that same ability. So this will be a test. This will be a test. So uh, I'll actually be kind of happy to see what the results are going to be on that. Uh, let's see. Last but not least, there's a single master infusion crystal. So with a single master infusion crystal uh, done, I'm going to go ahead and get about three of these made. And then we're going to put it to the test and see if we can't auto craft with this bad boy. So there we go. With our master infusion crystal made, it looks like mystical agriculture was thanking us for making that. Um, and uh, let's head over to refined storage and let's get this auto crafted. This is going to be pretty, pretty neat. Let's uh, hop in here and let's go ahead and set this up by hand. 
So I want this autocraft. Let's put ourselves uh, not in this mode. Let's put ourselves in regular mode and exact mode. Um, and I'm going to say use this first crystal here. And I hand placed it in for a reason. Um, and I'm not using the one from the grid. Uh, to do this is because I think there's an ID related to this. Uh, so you have to manually place it in. So there's that one that's locked to this crystal. And I'm going to need, I think, actually, I think we can do essence right here uh, to be able to drag the essence in. The essence is fine. So let's go to the next tier, which is going to be this getting pulled together. Just like that. And I'm going to put that crystal in and store this. I really hope this works. I really, really do. And basically doing the same method. Like we'll put this crystal in and then we'll be moving to this, converting to the blue. I did make four of the crystals, by the way. And so that's in. Perfect. And then last but not least, up upgrading to Supremium. Now there is a higher tier than Supremium, but I'm not super worried about that at the moment. I'm just hoping that this will work. I don't know. I don't think it'll work with a single one uh, as even applied energistics really did not like that. Oh, sorry. I put the wrong thing in. We have put this in. We're not trying to make insanium. We just want to make supremium for now. And then we pop that in and then okay. So we're ready to go, right? Um, let's go ahead and pop down. And I'm going to put this in this crafter instead of the uh, the other crafters that we made. Actually, you know what? Let's put it in this crafter. It should still work just fine. Um, so we will put all of these patterns in there. This is the reborn storage, by the way, that we set up last episode. And let's make sure to put our infusion crystals in. And let's see if we can make Supremium. So, Mystical. And let's pull out all the Supremium. And let's say we want to make 30 Supremium. Okay. Uh, so it says we are missing the infusion crystals. So this is what I was worried about. So this is a problem that uh, refined storage has that applied energistics beats. Uh, and I have tested this with applied energistics and it does work. I believe uh, you can do the crafting with applied energistics for mystical agriculture, uh, but we're going to have to use a different method. And that method is the method that I have used for a while, where you basically compress everything up to Supremium, and then you use refined storage to decompress. Uh, and that is what we're going to be doing. We are just going to set all of our stuff to automatically compress up to Supremium, which will happen pretty fast, actually. Uh, we are going to use crafters from RF Tools, and we can probably set that up in the back wall here. So that is going to be our goal for right now, is at least getting that set up. It's very, very simple, and uh, I'm going to try my best to explain it to you. Now, there's always a couple of key factors you need to sort of think about when setting up a process such as this. Uh, because I'm going to be starting and I'm going to be taking all the Inferium, right, out of our system and converting it, what happens if we need to craft something that uses Inferium? Well, it's going to automatically consume that, right? Well, we're going to have to tell our refined storage system to stop uh, sending a, the essence, right? The inferior essence once it gets down to a certain point. Like we probably want to keep at least like a thousand inferior essence at all time in our refined storage system. So how are we going to do that? Um, well, there's actually a way to do that uh, within refined storage itself. And that is to use a detector. And uh, this detector is going to be smart enough to know how many items are inside of our system and emit a redstone signal, uh, which we can use to shut off an exporter, right? Uh, so this can actually uh, emit redstone signals based upon that, right? Which is going to be very helpful for this situation that we're going to be getting into. Um, so let's set up an exporter, right? And we want this exporter. Oh, I am missing gold. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, well, apparently we're out of gold, uh, surprisingly. So, exporter. Let's go ahead and make a couple of those. Perfect. So, yeah, we're going to be sending all the items out into this, and, of course, we're going to need an importer that is going to accept the, uh, the exported items down here because this whole thing is going to take Inferium and is going to directly convert it into Supremium. 
going through all of the different steps and everything that we need. It'll be perfect. Same thing we just set up with the auto crafting. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we want to leave a little bit of Inferium. So that's going to be kind of important. So let's take our exporter and we'll put the exporter on top and let's get our cables up to here. Now, here's the thing. I am going to actually place this right next to it. And this is going to send some signals, right? So let's do Inferium. And actually, let's do Mystical Essence and Inferium. We can just drag that in. So over here, we can say emit a signal when on the amount. Um, we don't really want it to be on the amount. We want to emit a redstone signal, I believe, um, once it goes over the certain amount. So emit a signal when above a certain amount. We can, and if we do it this way, we can say 1,028. Let's just say 1,028. It'll emit a redstone signal when it is above this amount. And then on our exporter, we can say only work with a redstone signal. So with these two things set up, this should be on. And as soon as it drops below 1,028 inside of our refined storage system, then this right here will shut off. It should shut off. Um, thus, no longer putting items into this. Uh, now, I haven't set up what items to export because we want to get this set up first. So this is the Tier 3 RF Tools Crafting Utility. Uh, this thing is really, really nice and is going to allow us to go through the different tiers. Now, I think, we, yeah, we are going to actually need physical items in here. So... Within Mystical Agriculture, I'm going to need one of each tiered item. So I might as well get at least <laughs> several of these made uh, for right now, because we're going to need Inferium, we're going to need Prudentium, and, and so on and so forth. So perfect. Now that I have all of these items, this is what it should look like. Um, so as you can see, I have the Master Infusion Crystals in here. I believe you can... I, I don't think you can get away with using just one, uh, but I, I just put all four in here anyways. That way it has enough. Now, you want the item sort of in place uh, because you want to set a filter. We're going to be creating a recipe that's going to take this and convert to this. It's going to put what it converts back into this bar here. And then it's going to go to this one, do the same process, then to this one, same process. And then the final output is going to send the premium into the output down here. Uh, now, we need to lock all of these slots. And uh, there is a simple way to do that. I'm going to take the fertilizer. And I'm just going to fill all of the slots, as you can see right here. And what we're going to do is hit Remember Current Items. So now we shouldn't have to worry about any of these other item slots filling up with anything else. Uh, yeah, because you don't want there to be uh, an absence of Prudentium Essence, for example. And then your Inferium Essence takes its slot. And then, bam, you, you're like, wait, wait, why is it not working? Because the, now there's no slot for the Prudentium to go into. So let's get started with our first recipe. And we could simply just use the essence over here to automatically apply this. Uh, now, I will be putting the crystal itself into here. And then what we want is this to be set to int right here, which is going to be input. So it's going to take the, I, the results of the crafting operation that we have going on here. And it's going to stay into the buffer, which this is the buffer right here. And then as soon as that's done, I mean, it's ready to be saved. So we hit apply. And there we go. So any essence that goes in here, you can see will automatically get turned into Prudentium Essence. It's pretty sick. Now on the last one, this is going to change everything. Uh, so on the last one, all we have to do is set this to exit, just basically leave it the way it is, um, except for the craft. I think the buckets, I think it, this is what it needs to be on. The crafty operation will go into the output buffer like the remaining items like buckets will stay in the input. For example, this should stay inside of the input. We shouldn't have this going into our export. Um, so make sure it's on XTC. And this is going to be our final one. I'm going to go ahead and place this in. This is going to be taking this and converting that down. And then we just hit apply. And now this is all ready to go. If I click off of this, it should convert the uh, remaining, if we had any, down into uh, some premium. So I think we're all ready to go to turn this on. Now it's going to be pretty slow at the start because I don't have any upgrades, but once we put some upgrades in, this is going to start to go. Now I don't know why this particular Inferium Essence that's here, I don't, it's, it's different, but we should be able to toss this in here 
and just make sure that all the operations are working. You can see the premium essence building up. And there we go. And it's incredibly fast and it's in slow mode. So if you put it in fast mode, it goes even faster, uh, even though I don't know if we're going to be able to keep up with the amount of items we're going to be sending it. But uh, the exporter is ready to go. And I can go ahead and throw the items in here to go ahead and get that started. And now this is just one part of the craft, right? Because we're also going to need to set up regular crafting recipes that takes a premium all the way down to the uh, Inferium. So we're going to have one that steps it down to each stage. And that will just make auto crafting for this actually work. Now, currently, all of our essence is being processed. Up with, I went ahead and put some speed upgrades in there. You can see the essence is just dropping tremendously, which is perfect, exactly what I want. Now, it should it should land specifically on that 1,000 mark uh, because of the setup we have. Hopefully, it doesn't consume at all. We're about to find that out as it gets down here. Essence. Will it stop? Okay, so it did go a little bit over which is to be expected. And as you can see, more is going to fill right back in. Um, but I think it's because we have a stack upgrade and it is going to feed a stack every time. I think at this point, I could probably remove the stack upgrade and make sure it's very specific if I really wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is gonna work, this is gonna work. Um, as you can see, it's holding that in there and that's what it all matters. Now, um, let's, let's go ahead and get our patterns set up. So these are gonna be a lot more simple, right? Um, we need mystical and then essence. This should be pretty easy to set up, I think. Uh, so we already have some premium, so we don't have to worry about crafting that, right? We have that auto crafted. Now what we need to do is we need to say uncraft. And this is the recipes. This is how simple the recipes are. We're just going to say uncraft down all the way till we get to this point right here. Let's actually grab some more patterns. So just like this. So this one is being crafted down. And yes, we do want to go all the way down here because there's actually nothing. There's no loop happening, so we don't have to worry about that. But if we did craft more Inferium Essence than we currently have in stock, that's when it will become sort of a loop problem. And that will not be something that I, yeah, that that will uh, probably not be an issue because we'll all, like, we're, we, there's not many uses for the Inferium Essence other than just crafting the base seeds that we almost have completed. Um, so we will need it for things like this, right? When we create autocrafts that need us to take uh, things up. For example, if we wanna take this into this, into this, into this, right? Making the gear, that will be a thing, but yeah, we should have plenty. I think this is gonna work out. So now that we have all this set in, in place, go ahead and place this in. Also, by the way, I went ahead and made another one of the multi-block crafters from Reborn Storage uh, at the end of last episode. So we do have matching which is really nice. I mean, surely we'll end up having, you know, maybe more of them if we need. I don't know. This is a lot of, this is a lot of storage for these things. It's really nice though that you can just walk up and access it. Um, as I do have the ones on the bottom kind of buried underground. So why exactly do we want these things automated? Uh, that's a pretty good question. And uh, that's going to lead me to all of the auto crafting for the gear, the armor. Um, and yes, I would love to have this armor because later on, inside of the awakening recipes, which is something that I am completely new to, it does seem like we can make this awakened gear, which seems to be some of the best gear in the pack, um, just based on all of this stuff. This thing seems crazy, uh, right? You get plant growth AOE as a bonus uh, for just walking or standing around your crops, which is just kind of crazy. Um, but not to mention you can have creative flight just directly built into your gear unless that was removed in here, but I don't think it was. Um, all of that is available. There's so much, there's just so much stuff. Um, if we just look at Mystical, uh, all of the different tools, right? Uh, I kind of want to use this because I think these tools are used for some really, really late game tools uh, in combination. Uh, if I can get around all the Mine Colony stuff, which, yeah, I, there it is. So as you can see, this is used in the recipe for making the Aldemodium Alloy Paxel, which... I would say is probably one of the best tools in the game. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like this is gonna be mystical enchanting here. Crafting these just require power and us uh, figuring out some way to automate the piglet hearts. Other than that, that's, these are all actually rather simple to put together uh, to be able to make this stuff. So that'd be something that I would eventually wanna do. And that's kind of why I'm setting up automation for this, right? So 
definitely getting the Supremium Paxel here would probably be an upgrade to this tool that we have, I think. Um, at least it's an overall tool or maybe an upgrade to our spell book break that breaks everything. I don't know. Um, but we definitely want to get into some of this stuff. And we're going to need to. We're going to need to. It looks like there's even upgrades here for... I don't even know what this stuff is for. For the I've never seen these upgrades. Unless these are related to something new that I'm unfamiliar with? Gotta be. Yeah, there's all kinds of new changes that have came to this, it looks like. But we're gonna have to get into seeds. Yeah, here's all the tools. There's a fishing rod. Oh, I didn't even know there's a fishing rod. Um, yeah, these are the upgrades for the gear. And yeah, there looks like there's a new book. Okay. So, um, yes, we're making this because all of the gear and stuff requires stuff like that, right? It is all going to require this. So what should we get started with? I think, I guess we should just start making some more seeds. Um, of course, we do need the crafting to make seeds as well. <laughs> so uh, being able to say, hey, I need blah, blah, blah to Teridium Essence, for example, I can go ahead and request four and it's just going to generate four of them. Um, so let's do this. We have tons of seeds to make. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Oh, boy, I, I think for this episode, it, it might turn into a multi-part one. Yeah, because uh, I, I have a huge feeling that this is uh, going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, but as of right now, I've kind of got the platform laid out, right? This is what I want to go for. And of course, we're going to have supports that are going to be holding up these sections. But this is how big each section is going to be because it gives us plenty of room to walk through. Uh, and the crops are growing just fine so long as we put a light source above each one of these. And uh, how do we keep the water from draining to the bottom? Well, that's a good question, right? Uh, but we're actually doing it already down here. You may be seeing, as you can see right there, if you have a slab, like in this case, I'm using arch wood, right? If you have a slab, you don't really have to worry about it uh, draining down to the bottom. It just is going to work. Um, now, instead of putting water on our harvest pylon, I'm just going to leave that empty, but you can waterlog the harvest pylon, which is kind of nice, but we need water sources on each of these. And I don't want to just use a bucket. This is going to make it a little bit easier on me because um, I think there's a chalice that we can use. Yeah, the Emperor's Chalice. This right here is a infinite water bucket. Um, and we should be able to hopefully place water in everywhere because it's it's infinite. Uh, you should be able to even use this inside like modular routers to right click if you needed something to be filled with water infinitely, such as baby Batania's uh, little thing that you have to fill with water. Yeah, um, that could be a thing. Yeah, this could definitely work for that. Um, there's so many different uses for this. I I'm, I'm looking for it, but I'm pretty sure it's called an apotheosis. Apothecary. Yeah, apothecary. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done I haven't done Batania in a few days, so I, I forget from time to time. But yeah, let me go ahead and get the rest of these filled up. Um, and I'm not going to worry about changing the soil on these. I don't think that matters on the higher tier stuff. Actually, you know, what? I probably should look this up. Aha. Uh -huh. It looks like, yeah, it only affects the drop essence rate of Inferium seeds, but it will increase the chance of seeds dropping from the crop, uh, which is actually pretty nice later on when we can use a seed reprocessor to essentially generate more essence because of that. But you are going to need a seed reprocessor, and if that's something you really want to do, I, I guess go for it. In my case, I don't know how me... I don't know if I want to do that process. We'll see. By the way, just to make things a little bit easier on you, if you want to hoe an entire area, vein mine hoe it. <laughs> that's so broken. But you can vein mine hoe this entire area. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah, very fast, very, very fast. Now I got the majority of it sort of stood up uh, and I think all of this will work because everything's gonna be put inside here, which is going to be pulled out, which is going to go back here into this, which will end up being sorted into this. Um, now, I need to come up with a list of some of my top, of course, seeds that I want to get added to the farmland. So when it comes to seeds, I think some of these are going to be the ones that I definitely want to get started making. Um, and that's gonna be all of the elemental. Now we already have water and fire, so that's gonna be pretty good. So I have the air seeds, earth seeds, stone seeds, dirt, wood, ice, deep slate, uh, the nature seed, dye seed, nether seed, coal seed, 
Amethyst, of course, because it seems like I'm always running into Amethyst. Um, silicon or silicone, um, sulfur, aluminum, saltpeter, apatite, limestone, and mineral. These are just some of the tier one and two seeds. Tier three starts getting a little bit more expensive and you get into like just about everything you're going to need here. Now, the animals are a little bit different in how they work. Uh, to be able to get animal essence, for example, cow seeds, we're going to need soul jars. Soul jars are not horrible to obtain, um, and you can give them items. For example, you can uh, take a soul extractor. Instead of killing the mobs, uh, you can just use a soul extractor and feed it raw beef, and that's going to fill up your soul jar. And uh, it is a pretty slow process, but if you utilize the time in your bottle, for example, I have 33 hours stored in here, if you utilize that, then you'll be pretty good, I think. <laughs> um, so, uh, to get started, air seeds, I've made these before, so uh, some of these are going to require like special things like this, but I kind of want to go about uh, setting up a processor that's a little bit easier for me to do here, and I think really just a hopper, a couple hoppers actually, should suffice for this particular thing that I'm working on. Um, so, I will place a hopper there, a hopper off to the side, and uh, do I have redstone already attached to this in some form? Doesn't look like it, so let's just give a lever, and I just want to give this a, a redstone signal so it's automatically on, and then what I'll do is, because all of these require prosperity, is I'll just make a couple of these, automatically toss that in there, and now, whenever I walk around, I can just have my essence... And it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I could even just provide all of this, for example, with the essence that's needed for all of these base seeds. Uh, and I guess I could probably use hoppers for that too. That actually might make this a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and grab a few of those. Wow, I forgot I totally need iron. It'll be nice to have iron seeds so I can just have those constantly converted. Instead, I've got to go through here every now and then and have all of this <laughs> transformed into iron. And like I was mentioning, this will just make it a little bit easier. I'll just toss in the inferium that is needed for all of these base recipes. And for example, the next tier, they all require four. So it's a little bit easier to do this. And then all I have to do is just place the main ingredients in. And look at there, we'll have this nice sort of semi-automation ready to go. And well, it's not gonna drop into the hopper because I am giving this a redstone signal directly here. I almost wonder, can I just give the block itself a redstone signal? Will it not let me place it on top? Of course it won't. Anyways, this is how you do it. Sometimes I just use a button, for example, to activate it. Uh, but man, a redstone signal is so much better. Hmm, let me just place it on a block, actually. Uh, I don't think that breaks anything. And then we can lever the block. And maybe that'll work. I don't know, let's test. So the next one is Earth Essence. So we need this, and it looks like shears. We're gonna need some grass. Moment of truth, will it interfere? I have no idea. Nope, does not interfere. And we'll get this, yeah. It, just any way that I can make this faster, as you can see, it just went down here. Any way I can make this faster is is a is a plus, in my opinion. Oh yeah, this is, this is so nice. This is so incredibly fast. Because all I have to do is just prep up the items that I'm going to need to craft each seed and just literally place them in. Yeah, I'm sure it could be made even faster if you uh, set up some sort of automation that automatically sorted it, but I think setting up the automation would take longer than you actually just crafting it like this. So this works out perfectly. So with just a few boops, I'm now working on tier two items. So I've got all of the other ones planted. However, they are gonna grow at their max uh, because I have not made the all the modium stuff yet, but all I need to do is just making all the modium hoe and then that's it and it's un it's completely uh infinite which is kind of nice about that hoe otherwise we'd have to create a extensive system to automatically recraft hoes when the regular ones break and that just man that would just be uh, a lot of space requirement that when we can actually make these nice and compact these farms here and uh, the bonus with them being compact right is remember that uh, we are going to be making growth accelerators um, and I actually need to re-look at this, right? Um, so, uh, accelerators, these cost, ah, Inferium, right? Uh, and also Prosperity Gems, which are the Prosperity and Diamonds. 
So those are important for me to know uh, what the ingredients are. And of course, there's higher tiers. So just because we fill up the ground here with like 16 of them to match our height that we have, um, we can always stack it even further down and keep going. And uh, that will only further increase the output or the growth rate that these guys are uh, early growing at. By the way, this is definitely one of my favorite seeds is the dye seed. Uh, just simply because if you're ever like in need of like a dye, for example, like one of these inner chests, you need dyes. You can just easily just find the one that you're looking for and just click craft and it's just done. You don't have to worry about finding a red uh, match with the yellow so you can get orange and so on and so forth. Oh, that makes it so much easier. That is one of the benefits. Honestly, probably one of my most used items for mystical agriculture, I would have to say. It's definitely dye seeds. I mean, it just just making dyes easier to obtain. Just a thing. So, oddly enough, I'm encountering some problems, and I don't understand exactly what the problems are caused from. Uh, but uh, for some reason, my harvester is just not harvesting these. And they're working down here. Unless I made... No, this is a harvester pylon. Same harvester pylon that I have down here. Everything's the same. Nine by nine on, working status on, and we have an indestructible Aldamadium hoe inside, allowing it to work. And it's still harvesting just fine, like it's supposed to. On this level, however, I have down here a harvester pylon set to nine by nine, uh, working status on, Aldamadium hoe, Oh, and, and now it decides it wants to work. Oh, well, there we go. I fixed my problem. I, I mean, I have all of them set to 9x9, and I had it set to 9x9 earlier. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Okay, well, now it's time to filter. At least I solved my problem. Ah, oh, you gotta love when that happens. So, now to make uh, everything a little bit faster. Yes, we can definitely add multiple rows of these. Now that I have them available, this is gonna make it so much better. There we go, and we should be able to cover this entire area with this now. Uh, but of course, we want to make it even faster, right? So this is where I was saying like the multiple layers is where it matters, right? So we can continue to add multiple layers down here. And I think it even says on the block, right? It does say the range is 12 blocks. So if we take a look here, uh, the current block right here, this can go 12 blocks. So one technically two, three, and then we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Um, so really this top row is only gonna get the benefit um, of two layers of these blocks, but uh, and it'll of course degrade the further we go down. So we want the things that we want the most of, of course on the bottom layers and the things we don't really care too much about on the top layers, uh, but I believe the range gets extended, right? Uh, so I guess maybe that's not a horrible thing. Uh, it's just we have 12 range here and then right here 24 on the next tier and then 36 and then continues to go up and up. And of course we get 12 layers of this and then we can continue our layers of these blocks if we want or we can eventually send the fill the whole thing and replace these, I guess, and have 60 layers deep worth of uh, Supremium growth, which would be just ridiculous but hey that's that's where we want to be right um yeah and we get the benefit of all that so the range is definitely important and that's why i wanted to build a stacking farm uh as you see right here now i know mystical agriculture definitely takes a lot of time to craft all of this stuff but i hope today's video helped you uh potentially craft things faster and get into this faster um and i hope these tips definitely went a long ways Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, comment down below what you've learned and what you've enjoyed thus far. And of course, if you want to roast me for doing something wrong, I completely understand it. And I'd love to read those comments as well. I love, love some criticism every now and then. It's always uh, nice. And I definitely improve from it. Uh, but of course, I would love to give a huge shout out to the supporter of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go to the the parasite thank you so much for your amazing support by the way over on the discord becoming a discord premium member and now the discord is not 
just the only way you can support. There's also the ability for you guys to be able to support on Twitch and even here through YouTube itself with the join button that is directly below the video. Uh, if you're interested in supporting in other ways, there's also a thanks button as well that is uh, to the right of the bottom of the video uh, in different places if you're watching on mobile. Uh, if you'd like to support in a different way, of course, support goes a long ways in helping the, uh, the definite foundation of this channel to make sure that uh, even if I do have a bad month on YouTube, uh, that videos are still getting pumped out and I don't have to search for another source of income uh, while doing so. So, of course, guys, I do appreciate you very much. And uh, of course, be sure to join the Discord, click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, I'd love to see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.